Hi there, everyone. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with you today on the 17th of August, 2013. A lot to talk about today. We have two tropical depressions brewing out here. But first, I want to talk to you about some uh, grave breaking news coming out of the uh, central Philippines here. Where a ferry collided with a cargo ship, uh, over 100 people are said to still be missing. 17 people have been confirmed dead. 600 people were thankfully rescued from this very tragic event uh, just off Cebu here in Visayas. And at this time, well, uh, authorities are still trying to figure out what exactly happened, uh, and it's very unfortunate. We hear from this, or we hear about this time and time again about these ferry collisions in the Philippines or ships sinking. Um, I know in the past several years, this is the third or fourth one I've heard about. So, uh, very grave, very tragic news, and at least all our thoughts and prayers are going out to everybody involved in this uh, very serious situation here out of the Philippines. So, with that said, as far as the rescue efforts and the weather out there for that, um, it does look like. Past Passing scattered showers with the monsoonal inflow coming around our tropical depression forming off here towards the north are very well possible there in the Visayas. The heavier rain is reserved farther here towards the north into northern Luzon. So with that said, well, what I've said was we have two tropical depressions. One now starting to spin just towards the north of Okinawa. The other one south of there. We have the mini high in the middle. Yes, this is a classic case of the Fujiwara effect spinning up here. We have the high rate here, a tropical depression down there towards the south, a tropical depression off here towards the north. They are rotating around each other. That is what we call the Fujiwara effect. Very common here in the Western Pacific. Well, not all so common. Maybe about once a year we get this occurring. Never happens out in the Atlantic, at least that I know of. The Japan Meteorological Agency also showing one pushing down here towards the east, this one moving towards the west. Now, they do expect both of these to uh, really intensify to a tropical storm. You can see this here. Um, also, let's pull up the uh, forecast track for the other one, tropical storms. A more likely case is that they're going to get so close to each other that they kind of absorb each other's energy, and you just get one large moisture blob out here just rotating around each other. That's very well possible as we go through the next several days. Regardless, though, um, not so much a big wind maker because these two lows are so close to each other. They're stretching out the the wind field, that gradient's a little bit less, but a very big rainmaker through the coming days out here into the southern Japanese islands and over towards Taiwan. Now, with that said, doesn't mean we're not going to be seeing some gusty winds out here. Gale force winds and tropical storm strength winds are very well possible. What I mean, it not being a big wind, big wind maker is those damaging, very strong typhoon strength winds. So we're going to have a very broad wind field, but... Um, going with that a lot of heavy rain and really we take a look at the GFS model outlook it's picking up on that it's also picking on, up on this broad circulation that's because of the two tropical depressions just so very close to each other but you see here those tropical storm strength winds so tropical storm Chemi uh, yeah JMA is forecasting at least one of these storms to become that tropical storm in the next 24 hours we have two tr named tropical storms I don't see that happening but um, there is the possibility this is just a very confusing and messy a situation out here because we have the one there towards the north, the one there towards the south, rotating around a broad center of circulation. And it's not your classic example of an organizing uh, tropical system. So since it is not a case that we typically see out here, let's turn to the high resolution uh, JMA uh, slash JPV model showing Okinawa here in the center of your screen, Taiwan down here towards the southwest. This is the uh, winds meters per second slash pressure starting here on Friday going into Saturday. Now, this particular model expects our one down here towards the south to actually intensify stronger than the one towards the north. Really, that one's going to weaken out. This is going to become the stronger one. As far as the JMA high-resolution model, I do uh, think this is the better model to use. Now, as we look ahead through Saturday and the Sunday, this even continues to intensify and deepen and drips off there towards the north, becoming a tropical storm, and that's why JMA likely expects that. But even they possibly hint at a typhoon here. Remember, this is the local model so there's a pretty decent possibility if this model was to come true that is why I'm saying if these two systems organize they become um, basically around each other they become tight closer to each other this scenario could unfold so it's interesting that we have this split in the model we have the weaker ones the ones keeping this a very broad circulation and this one tightening it up my thoughts I do think it's gonna stay at the broader level but 
um, there is still the possibility of this occurring, and that's why we're going to continue to keep a very, very close eye on it. Because that threat is there of a typhoon strength around Miyakojima, uh, and also these waves kicking up. Look along the southern portions of the uh, Okinawa here. Um, you're seeing waves up to about four to five meters high right near the uh, coastal areas, along with those gale force winds continuing to come ashore. So a lot of very serious stuff happening here. You just scroll through. We can see those uh, waves continuing to kick up. Actually, let's start here on Saturday. We scroll ahead all the way over towards well Wednesday of next week some very high and intense waves out here so surfers are going to enjoy it anybody else yeah I really think that you should stay out of the water because there's going to be some dangerous stuff with a lot of rip currents with them so yeah, uh, I guess overall consensus, um, it's a very broad circulation. This is go definitely going to be a big rainmaker. You need the rain out there in the southern Japanese islands. Taiwan doesn't really need it all so much, but it's going to be a big rainmaker for you. Also, the northern Philippines. If these two do get tight and organized, well, these two right here, they do get tight and organized, then we could actually have a strong typhoon on our hands. But right now, that doesn't look like the case for most of the models, but that one is picking up on that. So um, that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. Also, uh, another note, meteorologist April Ferez uh, has uh, joined the Westpac weather team. She's going to be happily helping us out here out of Okinawa in the southern Japanese islands with a local weather forecasting warnings, especially for the large and increasing number of military that has now joined us to, uh, from that area. Um, really, we concentrate more on the civilian population, so it's going to be good to have her on board because she She's from one of the bases there, and it's definitely going to be able to help us out uh, with the local warnings and more information like that and on such. So, um, yeah, great good news with that. Thanks again for watching, though, everybody, and uh, stay safe out there.